Okay, welcome back to Retired Life. We just spent 16 beautiful days on Maui. Would you like to know how much we spent? Let's dive into it. So we're owners of Worldmark, which is a timeshare. So we have a con we actually have two condos on Maui and we prefer to stay in Kihei. Uh, the beaches are better there. So we got 10 days down in Kihei but we couldn't get all 16 days in Kihei. So we went up and spent six days at the Westin in Ka'anapali. Sorry, a little bit hard to say that sometimes. <laughs> he hasn't even been drinking yet. <laughs> oh, that's my problem. <laughs> so in Kihei, we had a one-bedroom unit. And when we went to Ka'anapali, we had a studio. So as owners of Worldmark, we pay $2,196 a year for 21,000 credits. Now, if you're not a Worldmark owner, you, that probably doesn't mean diddly squat to you. But um, it, it's basically how much we pay per year to be a member of Worldmark. So we didn't use all of our credits at, um, at Worldmark this year to, for our 16 days. We used... Um, we used 1,375 credits for a one bedroom for 10 days. And if you equal out the cost of the credits, the maintenance dues for every year, that cost us $1,438 for the one bedroom for 10 days. And for our second stay of six days up in Ka'anapali, we used an exchange company. We used Interval International and we paid, um, we used 4,000 credits there, and we had an exchange fee of $299, and our total cost for that was $700, $715. So our total accommodations fees for uh, 16 days in Maui came to $2,153. So our airfare to Maui cost us a grand total of 20 bucks. Uh, we have... Uh, credit cards that give us miles and I was able to use those. I did get a really good redemption on that. It cost us 12,500 miles per person each way. So round trip flight to Maui was only 25,000 uh, miles, which is a pretty good redemption. It usually runs more like 40,000 or more. So that was a good redemption. Um, bonus, it was on Alaska Airlines and it was a direct flight. Um, good flight times, we were able to choose our seats. So airfare cost us practically nothing. Win. So our rental car was $638 for the 16 days. Reda tries to book this out a year in advance and then she will get on here or get on the internet and watch them and try to get us into a higher class of car. So this one was only like a mid-sized car. Normally we like to go with a convertible. Uh, it was a little bit out of our price range this time, but she did get us one upgrade to that mid-sized car, which I believe was a charger, right? Dodge yeah, so charger. Dodge yeah. charger, yeah. Um, it did not have the Hemi in it, unfortunately, <laughs> so wasn't quite as much yeah. fun. Yeah. It's kind of like we are driving like granny a lot. <laughs> We are grannies. You're a granny. And we are grannies, yeah. So. No. so now let's talk a little bit about the fuel. We did fill up twice. We didn't do a lot of driving. Um, this was more about beach time this time. But there's always driving. You always have to drive to beach somewhere. So we always fill up at Costco. We have a Costco card. Costco saves you 50 cents a gallon on, on Maui. And the bonus is we have lunch when we go there for a dollar <laughs> fifty a piece. We get the hot dog and drink. Mm -hmm. So that's a bonus. The total cost of the car with rental of the car and the gasoline was seven hundred and forty one dollars. Not too bad, really. Well, like I say, we used less than two tanks of fuel the whole sixteen days we were there, and we were able to go from the south end up around the north end of the island so it's not a very big island and we didn't do the road to Hana but 
we probably could have done it all on our second tank of gas still. So you figure probably at least two tanks, and then if you've got a lot more stuff you want to do, you're going to have to fill up a third time. So kind of depends on, you know, like for us, this is we've been to Maui a lot of times. So we've done the road to Hana. We've done, you know, down to La Perouse Bay. We've done around the north side of the island. We've done all, you know, so we really didn't need to go many places. No. We needed to go to the store and we needed to go to the beach. And that's what most of it was spent doing. So we spent probably a lot of money for convenience sake, but to me it's it was worth every penny of it. Yeah. So since we had a condo, I, we almost always have a condo when we go to Maui, so that's kind of normal for us. But um, our food budget is a lot smaller than like people who go and stay in a motel because you have to eat all of your meals out. We have a condo. We eat in the condo a lot. It's um, to me, it's much more convenient. I don't have to get up and go anywhere in the morning, especially for coffee. Nobody wants to see me before coffee, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not even me. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> um, so um, we buy food at Costco because it's that's pretty much the cheapest place. Sometimes you don't want to buy stuff at Costco because they come in like big sizes and depending on what you're buying, you may not be able to use it up for your stay there. Uh, we were going to be 16 days, so we were able to pick up a lot of things at Costco. Right. Um, a lot of repeat dinners, so leftovers are an easy dinner for when you've been out playing hard all day, laying on the beach in the sun. Right? It's and exhausting. It, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Too many times when we go to Maui, and we go to Costco, we end up overspending, overbuying, and we end up leaving stuff behind, um, which is not a bad thing if it's not open. The um, hotel staff can go ahead and take that home and use it. But when it's open, it's just waste. It's going to the landfill. Right. Um, and this time we did really good. We hardly had anything left over. We had one cube of butter. We had a container of oil, which I thought we were going to use, and we just never ended up using. And we had half a jug of mango juice, and that was it. So we did excellent this time for our our food budgeting. And we were really trying to travel on a budget this time. Um, you know, retired dollars don't go anywhere near as working dollars for some reason. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so we did eat out a couple of times uh, on my birthday. We had Thai food, which was really good. Um, and I think we went out to breakfast one time. Yep. Other than that, I think we ate everything, or Costco, you know, a couple of times. We had the right. hot dogs. Um, we ended four up times. Four times? Oh, well, yeah, we had it four times. Yeah. You know, a couple of times, four times. Yeah. Um, so our total cost for food for 16 days was $785. And that equals out to just under $50 per day for two people. That's that's not bad. I think we did okay with that. I do too. It's going to cost you, like for a dinner, it's going to cost you $50 for one person just for one meal. So if you have a nice meal and a drink afterwards or during and before. Breakfast was, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of drinks. <laughs> I missed that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your drinks are... If it's like a mixed drink, you're going to be looking at $10, probably on the low end, and up to like $20, depending on how fluffy you want to get with your drink. Yeah, because we paid $14 for those Mai Tais, uh, and that was on happy hour. Yeah. So I think they were yeah. 4 bucks off, so normally they were $18. 18 bucks yeah. for a Mai Tai. Yep. Breakfast uh, was between 16 and $20 per person. Um, the Thai food that we got actually was not too bad. It was $25 per person. So yeah. that wasn't bad. And hit the happy hours. Everybody's happy when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> and they usually have some decent happy decent, hours. Yeah, decent yeah. savings. So, you know, it's a good way to stretch your budget. Yep. So on this trip, we didn't book any excursions. We've done them. We've been on the road to Hana a few times. We've been to the top of Haleakala a couple of times. You know, we've done the luau's on different islands, including this one. So we didn't 
we've done them. What we've wanted to do, we've done. <laughs> but what we did do on this trip is we got a couple of beach chairs and an umbrella. If you're as fair skinned as we are, get you an umbrella. And part of that is then you don't have to put so many chemicals on yourself when you uh, lather yeah, up the sunscreen. Yeah. Always use free friendly sunscreen too. We really wanted to go out on like a catamaran, but the only thing they had was like sunset dinner cruises or they did have not really whale watching, but snorkel cruises and stuff like that. And it's not really what we wanted to do. Retta wanted to just go out and lay on the net. And I was kind of hoping to bring some fish in. I'd be fishing too. So use her as bait. <laughs> can you do that on YouTube? I can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we just laid out on the beach a lot and enjoyed and just relaxing downtime. So that's that's how we chose to spend this trip. But I had some uh, good books caught up on my reading this trip. Yeah, I did a lot of practice videoing and. Boy, there's a lot of stuff we can't use. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of practice. <laughs> Lots of practice, yes. And just playing on my phone. And a couple times we sat around at the pool and I edited some video. So on my computer, obviously. And that's how we spent our time. That was it. I was really disappointed that there were no catamaran rides. That's what I wanted for my birthday. And it just, it, it didn't happen. Yeah. There are no just catamaran rides over there at this point in time. So. Right. So let us know what you would, what excursion that you would like to do while you're there. Especially if you've been there several times like we have. What are we missing out on? Yeah. I mean, we think we've done just about everything. True story. We actually had our picture taken with Steven Tyler. At Charlie's. At Charlie's on Paia Town, and unfortunately, the pandemic closed Charlie's, so they're no longer in business. You can check out that video here. Yes, you can. If you've never been to Maui before, let me know what is your one thing that you would absolutely budget for in the comments below. So what's the grand total on our 16 days on Maui? It comes out to $3,799, which equals to about $118 per person per day. That includes accommodations, car rental, food, and activities such as they were. Now, with that grand total price, to be honest, that's way more than I thought we were spending on this vacation. Um, the biggest part of that reason is because I considered our accommodations free, and they weren't really because we pay our maintenance dues on a monthly basis. And so paying them on a monthly basis, I didn't have to come up with it all at once. It kind of felt free. And when I sat down and penciled it out, I was actually pretty surprised at how much it cost us. And your airfare, ours was 20 bucks, but you can, from the West Coast, you can expect to spend between 300 and $600 per person round trip. So, you so know, we saved a lot there, too. We saved a lot there, yeah. So probably roughly 800 to to $1,000-ish with taxes and everything. So I did price out those um, accommodations um, if we had been paying cash for them. And I guess what we actually paid for them is pretty reasonable compared to what the yes. normal public would be paying. Um, and I'll show you those comparisons just so you get an idea of what you would be paying if you didn't have a timeshare like a lot of people don't so the big question i guess is was it worth it oh yeah <laughs> it's always <laughs> worth it love hawaii we do love hawaii i love maui's my favorite island so if you ever get a chance to go or if you've been quite a few times and you get a chance to go again i would say go for it yeah it's definitely worth it, it and make the best of it do your homework before you go. Figure out what you want to do, obviously where you're going to stay. Otherwise, you're going to be sleeping on the beach somewhere. Um, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. No, it's mm -hmm. not really. 
<laughs> so if you do decide to go, check out our favorite place. Can you say that on YouTube? <laughs> I'm not. I'm sure that was a cuss word I just made up right there. <laughs> so, if you're thinking about visiting Maui, check out our favorite place to stay when we're in uh, Kihei. We did a resort review. Yeah, right here, somewhere. <laughs> and with all this information, hope you have a good trip too. Mahalo for watching.